blunt him. The national anthem, please. Please be seated. I will give us 30 seconds to settle down. Our photographers we would like to ask you to kindly take your shots quickly and please leave the front. Please, our photographers, let's do this quickly. Thank you very, very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a very, very good afternoon to you all. We are here gathered here in Paikonkore, Gwagwalada Area Council, for the flag of, of the construction of the Paikonkore Ibuwa Road. This, of course, is a part of the infrastructural transformation of the FCT under the Renewed Hope Agenda of His Excellency President Bola Metinubu GCFR. And leading this transformation agenda in the Federal Capital Territory is the number one citizen of the territory, Mr. Project himself. Please join me in welcoming Chief Barista Ezewo Iyesonwike, CON GSSRR, GSSRS, Honorable Minister, Federal Capital Territory. Thank you, sir, for being here with us this afternoon. Walking and standing shoulder to shoulder with the Honorable Minister is the Honorable Minister of State, a formidable lady in her own right, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, Honorable Minister of State, Federal Capital Territory. Thank you, ma'am, for being here with us. Join me also in welcoming here today our representatives at the National Assembly. We welcome especially the representative of Abuja South in the National Assembly, Honorable Abdurrahman Ajia. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. His counterpart is also here with us. He is the chairman, House Committee, on FCT area councils and ancillary matters. Join me in welcoming Dr. Honorable Frederick Agbedi. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. A round of applause for them, please. Honorable Minister, sir, we must, of course, not forget to fully recognize our chief host, the chairman of Gwagwaladai Area Council, Honorable Abubakar Jibrin Giri. Thank you, sir. A round of applause for the chairman. He is, in fact, doing a very, very good job here in Gwagwalada Area Council. And also here with us, we have senators, former who are very, very good associates and friends of the Honorable Minister. They have, of course, been round and round with him, supporting him in all he has been doing. Join me in welcoming Senator Mao Ohwambua. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. A round of applause for him. Of course, we will not forget Right Honorable Chibundung Uguche, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. Thank you, sir, for being here with us as well. 
A round of applause for this gentleman. I have not seen him, but I've been told that distinguished Senator Philip Aduda, Philip Tanimo Aduda is here with us as well. Where is he? Distinguished Senator, thank you. Thank you very, very much, sir, for being here with us. He has been exemplary in his support for the Honorable Minister in all his activities. Thank you, sir. We also have other friends and particular associates of the Honorable Minister here with us, and we will introduce them in due course as soon as we get and confirm their names and designations. Of course, we will not forget our traditional rulers, the custodians of our culture. Join me in welcoming the Agoma of Gwagwalada, His Royal Highness Al Haji Muhammadu Magaji. Thank you, sir, for being here with us, Your Royal Highness. A round of applause for him, please. And representing the Agura Zuba, we have Al Haji Muhammad Brutala, His Royal Party Zuba. Thank you very, very much for being here with us. Honorable Minister, sir, it is also my pleasure to introduce here this afternoon the MD of Central Co Nigeria Limited, that's the company responsible for the construction of this road. He is Engineer Ziad Moanes, Managing Director, Central Co Nigeria Limited. We welcome you as well as all the senior officials of Central Co here. Of course, we'll not forget the Acting Permanent Secretary of the FCTA, Mr. Samuel Atang. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. A round of applause for him. And also the Secretary, Iraq Council Services Secretariat, Honorable Beatrice Lawrence Gariki. Thank you very, very much as well for being here with us. A round of applause for him. Also here with us, Honorable Minister, our heads of the various security agencies in the FCT, representing the Commissioner of Police, we have ACP Habib Rabiu. He's the area commander life camp and is representing Commissioner of Police. Thank you very much, ACP. Also here with us is the ACC, John Alaba Steven. He's representing the commandant and SCDC, FCT command. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. Of course, we'll not forget Mr. Adom Moazo. He is the assistant director general of the DSS and director FCT of the DSS. Thank you very much for being here with us. Also worthy of recognition, Honorable Minister, are the good, good, good people of Pai Konkure. They've been here all morning waiting for all of us. As you can see, they are here in their numbers with beautiful placards of welcome. This shows their excitement of having you here in our midst. A round of applause for yourselves. Please clap for yourselves, beautiful people of Pai Konkure. Thank you very, very much. And of course, Honorable Minister, we will not forget to recognize the gentlemen of the press who have been with us all through. Thank you all for being here with us. And without taking any more of our time, permit me, Honorable Minister, to welcome the Chairman of Gwagwalada Area Council here to the podium to give his welcome address. Honorable Chairman, sir, a round of applause for him as he steps forward. The Honorable Minister of FCT, Barista Liston Unkeot. The Minister of State of FCT, Dr. Maria Mahmoud. Acting Permanent Secretary, Vice Permanent Secretary of FCT. The House of Rest Member for Abuja South. And also his counterpart, the House of Reps. Committee Chairman of FC Ira Council, Auxiliary Matters. The PAMSEC, that is acting PAMSEC of FCT we have. The traditional rulers, especially the Aguma of Gwagwalada and also the, uh, the Agora of Zuba that is represented by Helping part of Zuba Agora is Agora Palace. Monday secretaries that are present here, distinguished Senator, Senator Philip Aduda, and also 
the security agencies, the commissioner of police, law is preventing, and also the director of DSS. My colleague, the Iron Chairman, that is the chairman of Kualira Council. Other security agencies will have in Gawara Council and also the contractor and his entourage and also the staff of Gawara Council, the people of Pai Konkori and also Iwa Village that are here, the invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm highly delighted to welcome the Minister of FCT and also the Minister of State for FCT for flag of a five kilometer road from Pai Konkwari to Iba village. In fact, we the people of Wagalara Council and also the two communities here that I mentioned, although we know we have many communities in this Aziz, I welcome you to this flagging up campaign for the five kilometer road. It is indeed a very grateful and also appreciating uh, you as this is the first minister that has taken care for the communities. We have many years ago that ministers have come, they concentrate on the urban areas, they don't care with the rural areas. Now we can see a difference. You are taking care with the villages we have in FCT, not only Guagualada Area Council. We are very happy. The day you told us that we should go and bring five kilometer road, in fact, all of us, the six Area Council chairmen, we are very, very happy to hear that. That is our challenge. Actually, we don't have anything to give you. We don't have anything to tell you than to say thank you very much for this wonderful work you want to do for the people of FCT. This will reduce the issue of insecurity in most of the areas. The challenge we have, in the issue of insecurity is the major road we don't have. At least, even if there's anything happening in a village or in a bush, if you tell the security agencies, they will tell you there's no road to that place. Even if you provide vehicle, the heavy vehicle cannot even reach where something is happening. So I believe constructing this road from Pai Konkori to Iboa, I know you have reduced the problems of insecurities and also boost the economy of this areas. Most of the people staying here are farmers. 90% of them are really farmers. And they find it difficult to bring their farm product to the town when the product is supposed to be in the town. I believe with this uh, a very serious action you are taking today. The people of this Aziz are very, very happy. We that is in our domain also, we are grateful. We know nobody can do all. We are not 100%. But after completion of this project, we, the people of Gawara Council, will still come to you, you are our father, to ask for more will come to you, you our father, to ask for more because we have demonstrated it to the people of FCT, not only Gwagalada. Because I believe the areas we showed, we gave it to you as our proposal, is mainly in villages. It's mainly in villages. So, for that, I don't have more to say than to say thank you very much. When I was sitting there, uh, the village heads of Pai Konkuri and also the Iwa village heads told me that they have normally it's a tradition. If you go to Gwari House or Gwari village, they will provide you with food. And the major food they have is yam. They have provided almost about 100 yams for you. You take it to your family to go and be doing breakfast with it. And also, <laughs> The Fulani we have in this as is also, they provide a local meal for you, that is no-no. So they have it here for you. And again, 
the village heads of these houses has given you a title. Your title is Selkinyaki of Paiko and Iwa. So they have given you that title today. As from today, any person that comes from Paiko, he will be calling you Selkinyaki. Any person that is come from Iwa, come to your office, he will call you Selkinyaki. And I believe they found a day to provide you a Selkinyaki of these houses. Thank you very much for your coming. I don't have more than this. It's a message. Our people are welcoming you. And we hope if you are going back, you reach your destination successfully. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for the chairman. And permit me to, permit me to be the first to say, Rankadere Sekinyaki Pekunkore. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chairman Gwagwalada Area Council. As I promised, we'll quickly run through a few dignitaries here with us. Permit me, Honorable Minister, to recognize the presence of Honorable Major Jack, Majority Leader, River State House of Assembly. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. Also here with us is Honorable Igwe Afoji. He is member of the State House of Assembly. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. Honorable Azero Opera, member of the State House of Assembly. And, of course, one of our own, the Chairman Kwale Area Council, and also Chairman Algon, Honorable Dan Ladi Chia. Thank you very, very much for being here with us. And last but not the least, permit me to also recognize and welcome Honorable Ephraim Umuze, former member of the House of Representatives. Thank you very, very much for being here with us. With your kind permission, Honorable Minister, at this point I'd like to call on the Coordinating Director of Satellite Town Development Department, that is the agency in charge of this construction, to kindly step forward to give us an overview of the work we'll be expecting him to perform. Permit me to welcome Dr. Olusegun Olusa. A round of applause for him. He's an extremely hardworking man. Thank you, Doctor. The Honorable Minister of FCT. Barista Ezengo is a wiki, CON, GSSRS, and Sengiyaki of uh, of uh, Sengiyaki of Pakuan, uh, Pakuan Kure. The Honorable Minister of State FCT, Ajia Maria Mahmoud. The Honorable Uh, chairman representing the Abuja uh, Area Council, representing Abaji, Kuje, Wali, and Gogolada Federal Constituency, Honorable Ajia Abraman. Chairman's House, House Committee on FCT Councils, Area Councils, and Auxiliary Matters, Honorable Fred Agbedi. The Acting Pamsek, U.S. Atang of FCT. Made Secretary, Area Council Service Secretary, Honorable Beatrice Gariki. Former Senator representing FCT, Distinguished Senator Philip Aduda, and other uh, entourage of the Honorable Minister of FCT. Director of FCT, FCDA are present. Heads of Secretary, Security Agencies, is Royal Ernest Aguma of Agogwagwalada. Alaji Mamad Magaji. Representative of Ora is Oria Ines Agora of Zuba. Another Oria Fathers here present. MD Setrako, the group people of Pankonkure, Anibua. Gentlemen of press, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon to you all. I will start by thanking the Almighty God for bringing us together to witness this occasion today. My name is Dr. Olusha Gungolusa, 
Oversighting Director, Satellite and Development Department. The Federal Capital Territory Administration is desirous to open up the rural communities and provide needed infrastructure. This is in line with the Renewing Hope agenda of Mr. President and the FCT administration to embark on emergency construction of 30 kilometer roads in six area councils of FCT. This, the selection of this site was due to infrastructural deficit in the satellite towns and area councils. The project is expected to be delivered by mark, by, 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 to mark the one year in the office of excellency President Bola Amen Tinumbu, GCFR. The emergency construction of Pai Konkure to Ibua within Gwagolada Area Council is a nine kilometer road, not five kilometer, which is one of the projects selected by FCTA. The scope of work is, is, is as follows site clearance and networks, 150 mm thick lateralic soil base cores. 150 mm thick stone base, 60, 60 mm thick asphaltic binder wearing course, trapsodia line drains, concrete pipes of different sizes, concrete caps. We will not have been here today without the effort of the Honorable Minister of FCT, Barrister Ezenwo Nyeson Wiki, whom we all know as Mr. Project. This flag off is one of the several flag offs since he took over the affairs of FCT. Thank you very much for your generosity in making this event possible. We assure the Honorable Minister of FCT and the Honorable Minister of State that we'll do our best to see to, this, to the success and timely delivery of the project. Thank you all and God bless. Thank you very, very much, sir. Another round of applause for Dr. Olusegun Olusa. Overseeing Director of Satellite Towns Development Department. Honorable Minister, sir, with your kind permission at this point, I would like to call on the Managing Director of Setarco Nigeria Limited, Engineer Zayad Moanes, to please step forward to give us the contractor's commitment for result. Engineer, sir. Good afternoon. The Honorable Minister, His Excellency Chief Barrister Nyesom Wiki, Honorable Minister of State FCT, Chairman, House Committee on FCT, Area Councils and Auxiliary Matters, National Assembly members, our traditional rulers, acting PS, the chairman of Wagwalada Area Council, Al Haji Abu Bakar Giri, all protocols duly observed. It's with profound joy that we are here today for this great occasion of the flag off of Pai Kore Ibwa Road with a length of nine kilometers in the Guagualada Area Council. This project is a testament of the Minister's quest to give the people the renewed hope of Mr. President's administration to build befitting infrastructure for Nigerians. We hereby pledge to carry out the project according to specifications and finish it in the stipulated time. As we thank you, Your Excellency, for your trust and confidence in Setraco Nigeria Limited, we wish to solicit for your support financially and for the provision of adequate security to enable us work in, in a conductive in, sorry, in a conducive environment and complete the project on time. God bless you all. God bless the federal government of Nigeria. And thank you.
Thank you very, very much, sir. A man of very few words, Engineer Zayad Moanes, MD, Cetra Code Nigeria Limited. He has indeed given us the contractor's commitment for result. Thank you, sir. Honorable Minister, sir, at this point, we shall be taking our goodwill messages, and it is my honor to call on Honorable Frederick Abedi to please step forward to give us a goodwill message. Thank you very much. He is the Chairman House Committee on Area Councils and Ancillary Matters. Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister of FCT, the Sarikin Yankee. Mr. Chief, it's a one week. The Honorable Minister of State, FCT, my colleague representing this federal constituency, and my leaders from the Senate and House of Reps leadership, former that are with us here. A chairman of council, PAMSEC, acting PAMSEC, FCT, a mandate secretary, our traditional rulers, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. As a committee, we are here by the mandate of the Right Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Abbas Tajuddin who gave us mandate to oversee this committee, area councils and auxiliary matters. Our great people of FCT, I want to thank Mr. President for identifying a good and capable hand to lead the FCT in the first term of his administration. I can assure you that you have the right man, the right person in office, to take both the FCT and the area councils to the next level, as APC will say. Your Excellency, we as a committee is to complement your efforts. We as a committee is to carry out oversight functions to ensure that all the efforts you are putting comes to fruition. Your Excellency, our responsibility is to work hand in glove with you to ensure that whatever we can do from Parliament to give you the ample opportunity to attract development to the area councils, we are prepared to work with you to do it. I have been in FCT. I have been in the House of Reps first in 1992. And this is one unique time I've seen a minister trying to open the area councils, the local areas, which means that the time for us to see the light is now. And so I want to use this opportunity to appeal to all residents, indigents, visitors, stakeholders in all the six area councils to support this administration and support our minister and the minister of state to ensure that you get your fair share in this administration. Your Excellency, I want to assure you on behalf of Mr. Speaker that we are ready to work with you, we are ready to support you, we will carry out our functions diligently and ensure that all that you are prepared to do for the FCT area councils will come to fruition. Thank you, congratulations, and God bless all of us. Thank you very, very much. A hundred and four applause for Honorable Fred Abedi. Honorable Minister, sir, at this point, permit me to also invite Honorable Abdurrahman Ajia. He is the representative in the House of Reps of Abuja South. So please step forward to give his goodwill message. A round of applause. Your Excellency, the Minister of the Federal Capital Authority, Dr. Nisemuke. Your Excellency, the Minister of State, FCT, Ajara 
Aja Mariam Mahmud My colleague the Chairman Committee on Area Council and Auxiliary Matters My Royal Highness sis, the Security Chiefs here Invited guests, member of the press, may the peace and blessing of God be upon all of us. Today is one of the most happiest days in the history of FCT. Today has clear and affirmed my argument when the minister was posted or was nominated or announced as the minister of FCT. There was this insinuation that the minister of FCT must always come from the north. And in my argument, I said, as indigenous of FCT, I don't think we can boast of any meaningful achievement when the northern, when Northerners have been the Minister of FCT. And I said to them, from the history and the pedigree of the man Nisun Wiki, I am sure FCT will get it right this time around. Today has proven that really, we have gotten the minister that cares and loves us, the people of FCT. We face a lot of challenges in terms of security. And what is happening today is one of the measures that will cope insecurity in FCT. Because without road, even the security agent will find it difficult to really combat these criminals. Mr. Minister and the Minister of State, we, on behalf of the entire people of Abuja South, and particularly the people of Paiko and Ekwa, I want to sincerely appreciate you. I want to sincerely appreciate you. And I know this is just the beginning of the good things the people of FCT will see. We are looking forward to seeing more and more and more and more of this. With this, I sincerely want to appreciate you and thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very, very much, Honorable Abdraman Ajia. A man of the people, he was the immediate past area council chairman of Abaji Area Council. A round of applause for him. At this point, Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming His Royal Highness, the Aguma of Gwagwalada, Al Haji Muhammad Dumagaji, to kindly step forward to give us his goodwill message. Your Royal Highness, sir. About two weeks ago, we met in the Taiwan meeting, and today we meet again. And uh, I'm always say what the uh, chairman spoke is exactly what I want to say. It. So I'll say the chairman of Gogal Area Council so it's already say all 
And uh, what I want to add here is uh, the Honorable Minister, everybody know him, Nigeria. It's not Elu Olu Abuja. On the same Mr. Project, it's the whole Nigeria. Uh, maybe the Honorable Minister can forget, I would remind him that uh, about four years ago, when he was uh, governor of river, we as a traditional ruler in Nigeria, we meet in that uh, river about some years ago. When he come to us and hold, say tomorrow I'll took you around to see what I'm doing in river. And that thing, the following day, all of us, that the six states were there, he took us around. Took us one, one day for the morning to evening, one by one. What is, uh, what I, uh, the reason I select me, man, I, I know the Honorable Minister, what he can do. We didn't have any doubt on him. Just what I want to call on the contractor. Everybody know who is wicked. Don't want any excuse. That's the reason. What is that this work? I hope with one small uh, month we finish this work. The same time we come and commission this work again. So please, contractor, wiki is wiki. If you do give me one excuse, we'll drive you. Please. So thank you so much. We are really appreciate. And the people of uh, Paiko and uh, Iwa, if you look at the whole, we are all smiling because of what we, are, we didn't expect to saw it today. Thank you very much. Well, God bless you. Indeed, another round of applause for His Royal Highness. There is only one wiki, and there is only one Mr. Project. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you very much. I'm good. A round of applause for him, too. It takes a lot of energy to do that. Honorable Minister, at this point, it is my honor and privilege to call on the Honorable Minister of State to kindly step forward to give her her remarks. To give us her remarks, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, Honorable Minister of State, Federal Capital Territory. The Chairman, House Committee on FCTA Area Council and Ancillary Matters, Honorable Fred Akpeju, the Honorable Member representing Abuja South, Honorable Abubakar Ajia, Honorable Members of House and National Assembly here present, the Chairman of Wawalada Area Council and other Chairmen uh, that are here present, his Royal Highness the Aguma of Bawalada Al Haji Muhammad Magaji and other traditional rulers that are here present. Head of security agencies, mandate secretaries, directors, FCTA, FCDA that are here present, members of the press, invited guests, good afternoon to you all. It is with great pleasure and pride that we gather here together to mark the flag off of the construction of five kilometer rural roads. This project is not just about laying down asphalt. It is about connecting our communities, improving access to essential services, 
and fostering economic development in our rural areas, also improving in our security challenges. For too long, the lack of proper roads and infrastructure has hindered the progress of our rural communities. Farmers have struggled for transporting their produce to markets. Students have faced difficulties reaching schools and medical emergencies has been compounded by the challenge of accessing timely health care. Based on these factors and to curtail this menace, today we take a significant step forward addressing these challenges. And this five kilometer road may seem like a modest uh, undertaking, but it is impact which will be far reaching. It will enhance connectivity, reduce travel times, and open an opportunity for trade and commerce. It will also improve access to education and healthcare, empowering our rural population, healthcare, and also improving our security challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, let us join hands with our leader, Mr. Project, His Excellency Barrister Sarikinyak Mpayu Konkori, to ensure that this road is not just built, but maintained for the generation to come. In conclusion, I am filled with optimism and hope that we stand on the course of a new chapter in the development of our rural area in the nation capital, which is one of the renewed hope agenda of His Excellency Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Thank you all for coming. May God bless you all. Thank you very, very much, Ma. I want a round of applause for the Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Maria Mahmoud. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now coming to the high point of this afternoon's event, and it is my honor and privilege to invite the Honorable Minister, Serkinyaki Pekun Kore, Chief Barrister Ezenwe Yosonweke, CON, to kindly step forward and give us his address. Honorable Minister, sir. Territory. The Chairman House Committee on Area Councils and Auxiliary Matters, my brother Chief Fred Abeti, the Honorable Member President Abuja South, the House of Representatives, the distinguished senators, particularly the former senator representing our city, Philip, whom I had, was the one who gave the slide from here to Zuba. I want to sincerely thank you for that. Member, my entourage, the traditional rulers, our royal fathers, who have come to witness this epoch-making ceremony, the Mandate Secretary Area Council, the Chairman of Gagorada Area Council, the Managing Director and Management of Satraco, the Acting Permanent Secretary, I, want, I don't want to use the word Acting Permanent Secretary, so that I don't know whether we we'll have permanent secretary of FCT, but is the most senior director for now until when God will say what will happen will happen. The health and security agencies that are here, 
members of the House of Assembly for River State, our dear leaders of these two great communities in the Guadalajara Area Council, our beautiful women, our dear youth, let me, on behalf of the Federal Capital Territory and the Ministry of State, thank all of you for the great honor, for the great reception you've given to us this afternoon. Let me bring felicitation for Mr. President Ahmed Bola Tiribu, the President and Commander, Chief of Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who has said, I should let you know that the new hold agenda is still the new hold uh, agenda. Nobody would have thought that today this administration will focus on development of rural areas that make up FCT. FCT is not just Abuja Municipal Council. FCT is not just Guadalajara. FCT also includes all these communities. And so Mr. President directed to let you know that the Renew Hope Agenda is not by bare talking. The Renew Hope Agenda is for you to see that we are ready to bring back hope to our people. We are ready to bring back hope to the rural populace. We are ready to make our people in the rural area to be comfortable. And one of those things that must make them to be comfortable is to give them access to rural. The chairman of the area council has said so before, you cannot talk of fighting insecurity just to only provide logistics and equipment to police. You fight insecurity when there's access to roads. If there are no roads, all the equipment you may give to police comes to nothing. I'm sure with this nine kilometer road, it will go a long way to fight insecurity, if there's any, in this uh, area. And let me say that apart from this, we are giving two more roads to Wagolada Area Council this year. So, in a nutshell, for this year alone, Wagolada Area Council will be having three rural roads that were constructed by the administration of Ahmed Bola Tribu. And the same thing will happen to the other five area council. Tomorrow we will be at Buare, on Monday we will be at Kuje, on Tuesday we will be at Amak, Wednesday we will be at Kwale. We will make sure we we'll visit all the rural areas and give them roads so they will be able to go to their farms, they will be able to transport their goods, as Mr. of State had uh, said. Let me assure you, the contractor, I will not agree to award any contract if we don't have the money. I'm not for that yet. If there's no money, there's no award of contract. Because it will be quite deceitful for everybody to gather here today to say that contract has been awarded and then in the next few months, the work is not going on. That is the highest 419 you can do to anybody. And so, for us, go home and sleep with your two eyes closed. Funding will not be a problem. But, like the traditional rule has said, doing this work, you must do it knowing that we are paying you money. Do it and do it well. The people here, they are entitled to quality road that will last a long uh, time. So, like you said, I will not tell you when I will come here for supervision. I will not tell you. Two, because what I have found out, and let me tell you, I will not also depend on the report submitted by the oversighting director 
of STDD. I will not do that. What I will depend on is what I have seen with my eyes. So don't make mistake by thinking that I will not come here. You are wasting your time. I will come here and see what you are doing. And if you don't do it well, you pay back our money. So, my dear good people, time has come for us to change the narrative. Development must not only be in the city. One reason why most people migrate from the rural area to the urban area is because of lack of facilities. When you are giving them good roads, for how many minutes they are in the city? So why would they leave their homes? So it is our duty to make them comfortable wherever they find themselves. So I want to congratulate the people who, by the grace of God, you are the first person to have given me a chimpanzee title. I wholeheartedly accept it from you. Thank you very much. So, please employ the people from here. Most of our youth do not have job. With this road, with, with this road, they will be involved, they will be working. That will also reduce insecurity. Give them jobs. And please, for the period of this job, people here, the youth here, will be employed. They will find something to feed their stomach. They will find something to feed their family. And that is the job of government, to provide jobs. Job creation is another priority of Mr. President and the session. So we we'll do everything possible to see that our youth are fully employed and have something to feed their family. I want to thank all of you. And please, I assure you before that we are going to take this fight against security here. Today, you can see that we are not letting them go and they will not sleep. I told you, all these criminals will run away. We will make sure they don't sleep again. As they say we will not sleep, they too will not uh, sleep. Not be so. Not be so. The king will say, my man will sleep. You go sleep. You go sleep. So we are taking the war head on. Let them wait for us. They will see fire for fire. Fire for fire. On this note, I invite our leader for the National Assembly, the minister, to join us as we flag up this 9 kilometer road to the glory of God. Thank you, God bless. Thank you.